Hello, guys, and subscribe back. This is Ivja TV. Yes, today, the 30th of uh, March 2023, we are touring the city of Owere. Yes, Owere is the capital of Imo State, Nigeria. So, we're going to take you around this um, state capital of Imo State for you to have a view of what uh, is going on in this township. So, drive around with us right now for you to have an idea of what over it looks like so we're gonna be touring um all the major roads all the major districts in the town to show you what over it looks like in the 2023 precisely this is march uh the 30th 2023 stay connected to the channel also go straight to the comment section right now and tell us what you think about over the state capital of emo states also share and uh subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so also like this video like i said earlier share this video so that others will have a look of what over it looks like in 2023 stay connected and uh, watch through thank you Yes, we are still driving around the township of Owere. This is Owere, the Imo State capital. Of course, um, I know that Hope Uzodema, the governor of Imo State, is doing his bit. But I think he's, he's supposed to do more. He's going to do more. Because a lot of work needed to be done in Owere precisely. The roads are terribly bad. Yes, we mm. are right now at uh, World Bank. Yeah, World Bank is one of the, of course, the the most uh, prominent uh, estates or neighborhood in Owere. You know, this is um, neighboring, uh, it, it's just within the same area with uh, New Owere. Because this place could be considered as a uh, New Owere too, because it is just, uh, they, they, they share almost the same uh, neighborhood. So this is very, very terrible that we still have this kind of road in a state capital in Igbo land. It's very, very unfortunate. But um, I I hope that uh, the governor of the states, Hope Uzodema, is um, actually doing something or, or seeing this. You know, okay, what, what we are going to be doing right now is to share this video so that um, the authorities of uh, in charge in Imo states could come to the rescue of uh, this town because uh, it appears that a lot needs to be done to fix this uh, township. It is very, very um, disheartening. You can see, uh, um, I'm sure very, very, very clearly that uh, because of the bad roads too, 
um, Okada, popularly known as uh, uh, motorcyclists, you know, commercial motorcyclists, popularly known as Okada in Nigerian parlance, you know, have taken over the roads, you know, because of this. So um, this is uh, what we are seeing today in Owere, the Emo state capital. This is it. So um, I hope that uh, the governor will see all of this and arrest the situation and fix the road uh, in this town. Yes, yeah, so Owere is a uh, heartland uh, township, you know, in southeastern Nigeria, and uh, it is not supposed to be so. Emo states. Uh, is quite uh, a state with uh, huge potentials, you know, rich in oil and gas, rich in human capital, uh, all of that. So uh, you can see these are business areas, and uh, I'm very, very sure, you know, it has affected their, their businesses in this area because of uh, poor access roads to this place. So this is um, the situation right now, and we're going to be updating you going forward with more updates you know concerning what uh, we are seeing not just in Amos state but everywhere in the eastern nigeria and nigeria at large so of course we know we are everywhere in the world we are covering everywhere but today we are in over the emo state capital so stay connected on this channel don't uh change it out so that you get the full gist of what is going down today as we take you around the township of Owere. Yeah. So, like I pointed out earlier in this uh, commentary, the Okada riders, you know, commercial motorcyclists, popularly known as Okada, you know, uh, has taken over almost everywhere in Ower. You know, you can see them uh, plying their trade and everything. But you could remember many, many years ago, the former governor of Imo State, Rota Sukurota, actually banned Okada. You know, and I don't know how they managed to come back you know this is the regime of uh, or the or the administration of a uh, hope who's in 2023 and we still have uh, okada as uh, one of the major um means of transportation in Owere. when other cities you know in southeast you know uh, places like enugu oka onicha um even omoya abakleke do not uh, use okada as a means of transportation right now anywhere in those cities you know i wonder why it is still very very common you know where yes um this may be as a result of a uh, bad roads you know um there are bad roads in this town you know that has made it almost impossible for you know commercial oh, vehicles to be able to navigate those chaos. routes you know now we have a total uh, chaos of a city. Uh, cyclists and uh, motorcyclists, say? you know, taking over to provide them, you know, transportation to move people from one location to another. You can see, you know, how people are moving, you, made, you know, to their different destinations. Take this through this, uh, for uh, this transportation. Is you can we see the life and direct in Owere, you know, it's actually causing uh, gridlocks all over Owere. So this is it. So we are going to be updating you on this, and we want the government. Of Imo State, uh, hope was them uh, to take note of this uh, video and be able to there see what you can do to all fix over the, town. the infrastructural deficit. Bikes in appear this, to be uh, the major town. means of, of course, uh, you know, Imo State, in this town. Uh, or, or precisely, is the capital. And uh, some facelift 
need to be done in this town so that it will boost the image of the states. So that's it. So we are gonna be, you know, giving you more updates, like I said before, so that you don't miss anything going forward. Thank you for watching. Also, like I said earlier, go straight to the comment section right now and tell us what you think of the condition of Owere, the Imo State Capital, in 2023. This is it. So you can see the, the terrible state of the roads. You can see Okada everywhere, running around, you know, and this is it. Um, well, this is um, what we have come to witness today. That's it. Hey, so boss. stay connected. You don't want to miss oh, anything. And bad so so you get try. all the information you need to get God. about this uh, development we are seeing today in Imo State. Oh, well, precisely. I know that um, I've seen a couple of uh, projects being executed by the Imo State Governor who was at the moment. Over the last uh, few months, mm. you know, uh, about two years right now, you know, he came to office. Okay, this should be his third year in office. And uh, he has done some projects too. And um, But then it is uh, not enough to, you know, impress anyone because the state of rules are so bad. Of course, if he, if he already the Imo State Capital could be like this, how will the other uh, hinterland areas of the state will look like? So this is why we are calling on the authorities of uh, the state to take note of all this and fix it so that uh, we all will be happy for it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Okay, yes, this is the area uh, the neighboring um, World Bank and the New Ogre. Okada, everywhere of course, this is in New Ogre Junction. You can what see those Okada riders. 
you know, uh, on standby at this junction this is not to be able to pick their passengers what the state should look coming like. from Port Harcourt Road. We are this right now chaotic, in Port Harcourt Road. Very you know, where this road is straight to Port Harcourt River very State. Very littered you know, with so lots and lots of bad roads. This is the Filt, almost uh, everywhere. The road takes you straight to Port Harcourt. Oh, well, it's not a river state place. capital. So the government need to do something, do no, more on infrastructure. The deficit of a infrastructure, you know, where it is heartbreaking. We it is alarming, now. you know, to say the least. So up. the government needs to do over more now, so that the town to will bubble. The town to will have economic value. What you know, that is a, but a this is kind of a commensurate with a, a state capital of a repute. You know, Imo State uh, was created over 40 years ago. It's a disgraceful yeah, not, I, mean, I stand to be corrected over 40 years ago. So we, we should be expecting better infrastructures by now, better it's economic development by town. now, so that um, everybody will be happy for it. So that Imo indigenous that are everywhere, you know, across the southeast states and uh, everywhere in Nigeria should come back and help in developing their states. So